Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to learn how to create a new saved cycle on the TrueBond Veterinary Centrifuge. How to create a new saved cycle on the TrueBond. Your TrueBond Centrifuge has 10 slots for custom saved cycles. The first few are set by default. The rest are named Memory 6, Memory 7, Memory 8, etc. You can adjust any of these to your desired speed, time, braking, and tube adapter selection. You can rename them too. In this video, we're going to learn how to customize those settings to create a new saved cycle. We're going to adjust memory 6 to run at 3000 RPM for 3 minutes with braking of 9. But you can use this same process to create whatever custom cycle you would like. As a quick reminder, your TrueBond has all of its controls right here on the front panel. Today, we're going to use all these buttons as we create a new cycle by editing Memory 6. Start by using the up and down arrows to select the cycle you want to replace with the new cycle. In our case, we're going to edit Memory 6, so we'll scroll until Memory 6 is on screen. If you accidentally scroll past your desired cycle, you can always use the other arrow button to scroll back to it. With the cycle you want to use for your new settings selected, press the Menu button. This button enters Edit Mode, which will allow us to adjust our speed, time, braking, tube holder selection, and cycle name. From this screen, you can scroll through several menu options. Pressing Stop Unlock will scroll to the next option. Pressing Start will scroll to the previous option. Pressing Menu again will save any changes made so far and exit. We're going to start with the speed, which is the first setting shown when you enter this menu. Press Stop Unlock once. The number next to RPM should begin flashing, indicating that setting is currently selected. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the screen to adjust the speed. The current value on the screen will update as you adjust. This screen also displays RCF, which is G-Force, if you prefer to measure by G-Force instead of RPM. Once your desired speed is set, press Stop Unlock again. You'll see a flashing number and the word Minutes. This indicates you are now editing time, which is measured in minutes. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the screen to adjust the time. The current value on the screen will update as you adjust. Once your desired time is set, press Stop Unlock again. You'll see the word Braking and a number or the word Off. This indicates you are now editing Braking. The Braking setting controls whether or not braking is applied to slow the centrifuge rotor down after it has finished spinning your samples. Brake values can be set anywhere from Off no braking, to 10, maximum braking. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the screen to adjust the braking. The current value on the screen will update as you adjust. Once your desired braking is set, press Stop Unlock again. You'll see the word Tube displayed. This tells the centrifuge which tube holders you are running. There are two settings, either the blue tube holders BLU 100 mm, or the orange tube holders, ORN 125 mm. If you are using the microtainer or microhematocrit adapters inside the blue tube holders, the blue setting should be used. This setting allows the centrifuge to accurately calculate the g-force for your given tube. Adjust this to match the tube holders you plan to use for your chosen cycle. The centrifuge can run blue tube holders on the orange setting and vice versa, but we recommend matching the setting to the tube holders in the centrifuge if possible. For our new saved cycle, we are using the blue tube holders, so we use the up and down arrows until BLU 100mm is displayed on the screen. If you are using the orange tube holders, select ORN 125mm instead. Once your tube holder setting is as desired, press Stop Unlock again. You'll see the word Beeper and either Off or On. 
This indicates you are now editing Beeper, which controls the audible alerts on the TrueBond. Beeper is a toggle. Audible alerts can either be turned on or turned off. If Beeper is on, the centrifuge will beep at the end of a cycle and beep when buttons are being pressed. If it is off, the centrifuge will not have any audible alerts at all. Beeper is a universal setting. Audible alerts are either on or off for all cycles. Use the up and down arrow buttons next to the screen to toggle the audible alert setting on or off. The screen will show the status, on or off, and dynamically update as you adjust it. The centrifuge will run with the selected audible alert setting until that setting is changed. Since it's a toggle, switch it back using the same process we just discussed but make sure it's either off or on as desired. Once your audible alert setting is set, press stop unlock again. You'll see the name of the cycle displayed. This indicates that you are editing that cycle name. Name is edited character by character. Your currently selected character is indicated by the letter flashing or by a flashing rectangle if blank. Use the Start and Stop Unlock buttons to move between different characters in the name. Use the Up and Down arrow buttons next to the screen to adjust each character as desired. Once your name is set as desired, press Menu again to save all of your changes and exit. Your centrifuge will automatically select the cycle you just finished creating and queue it up for you to run. And now you're ready to spin. Press Stop Unlock to unlock the centrifuge. Load your tubes and close the lid. Turn the lid latch a quarter turn clockwise to secure. Next, press the Start button. The centrifuge will automatically lock and the rotor will begin to spin, accelerating until it reaches your cycle's RPM. It will then run for your chosen time. You can see time remaining and speed alternating between RPM and RCFXG displayed on the screen. Once the run is complete, the centrifuge will begin to slow down, applying the rotor brake at the level you selected. When the rotor is fully stopped, the centrifuge will beep and the lid lights will flash to let you know it's done. The centrifuge will automatically unlock. Turn the lid latch a quarter turn counterclockwise and then lift the lid to retrieve your spun samples. And that's all there is to it. If you have any other questions about your TrueBond centrifuge, you can always contact Drucker Diagnostics and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.